Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick recap in the middle of the challenge so that we're all on the same page with what we're trying to accomplish. We just finished our pre-work by creating two users and the necessary pick list to uh, have the usernames in. And now we're gonna get started building our flow. And just some context going into how we build the flow, we are going to build it as a record triggered flow. So as I said before, that's gonna be the most common flow type. And in these earlier challenges, we'll, we'll get a lot of experience with that. The trigger for the flow when we are configuring our start element is that that pick list value changes. So you know something's gonna change with the pick list value and that's gonna cause the flow to kick off. The flow will then search, it will do a lookup in quotes to a user in Salesforce with the same name as the pick list. So that's why it's important that your pick list um, values match the names of the user exactly. Once we find that user in Salesforce, the flow will then update the task by changing the owner of the task to equal the ID of the user. So there's a field on the task called owner ID, and we're going to set that owner ID to equal the ID of the user. And I just wanted to do this quick recap so that we we're all kind of, you know, on the same page with how we're approaching this. And with that in mind, we'll get started building our flow in the next lecture.